to let it go. Okay. All right. I think this. Hi. Hi, this is Trish Kelly, uh, owner of Australian Labradoodles Midwest Connection. I'm here with Nutmeg and Keeper's Litter. Today they are four weeks old. They were born on the 19th of September. And you can see we're just feeding them their lunch here, which consists of the Life's Abundance Mush, which I call Mush. It's the Life's Abundance dog food that you purchase on my website. And we grind it down and then put warm water with it and mix it all up and the puppies love it. So this is what they're eating now. and. Uh, they're doing very well with it. They're, um, they just finished up here. I thought we could get it filmed with them eating, but it, they went so fast at it that it didn't happen that way. So, um, and then in this, in this bowl, we have fresh water for them. So once we start the weaning process, this is how it works. They get um, the Life's Abundance Mush and the water, uh, water all the time, but the Life's Abundance Mush three times a day. And, um, and then mom naturally starts to wean them. Her milk starts drying up and they transfer, transfer completely to the life's abundance. Eventually we start to pull the water out. And don't, I mean, we don't add the water and they just eat the dry kibble, which is what they go home on. Um, and with that said, if you do purchase the life's abundance dog, through, dog food through my website, your two year health guarantee that comes with the puppies is extended to three years. Um, also, the Life's Abundance sells a line of training treats that Shelly, who is nicely uh, doing the filming here, Shelly will start uh, using the training treats two weeks from now approximately, or actually about five weeks of age, and start the training process. We teach these puppies to sit and lay down before they go home and do a demo with them for you. But uh, the training treats are formulated for puppies, tummies, and digestive system. Um, whereas, um, if you were to try and give them a training treat that you purchase in the store, uh, generally those are made for adult dogs and they're too rich and they give the they cause the puppies diarrhea. So I highly recommend when you purchase the dog food to pick up a bag of the training treats because you want to continue with the training after we leave, after the puppies go home with you. Um, so let me go through the pups here and show you who's who. They're checking me all out here and climbing all over me, which is fine. And um, they'll probably venture over and eat a little bit more while I'm while I'm doing this, and we'll just see what happens. They're all starting to talk and growl and play with each other, as you can see. Lots of movement. They're super healthy, gorgeous puppies. Their coats are so fantastic, and here you see how they're they get used to the water. They they put their feet in it. They feel it and everything. Uh, and they drink it, so it's a great, great way to get them going here. Um, you, but back to the way they're looking is truly the Life's Abundance dog food does a fantastic job for these guys. The, their coats are stunning and shiny, and whoops, and uh, they just are very energetic and, and happy puppies. So just wanted to point that out. So let's see here. The first puppy we have here is the lime green collar right here. This is our Odie. Odie is a chunk of change. Oh my gosh, is he handsome. This is our Odie. Hi, sweetheart. He's just got a great, thick, bony body. Very chunky like a lab. And a great stop on him. He's, he's checking me out. He's turning his head and looking at who's talking to him. He's, he's so handsome. He's, he's a apricot to a dark, uh, excuse me, apricot to a red coat, I call this. Uh, almost like a, a dark golden color. He's beautiful. So, and, and a straight fleece coat, non-shedding, and well, he weighs, he, he's a good couple pounds here. This is a chunk. That's Odie. Who is so happy there? Who is making the noises? Uh, let's see, the next one we have, um, they're, they're still flip-flopping on a name for this one. Um, let me see, the blue color. Remy. And uh, I believe they're going to go with Remy, but I haven't gotten the final word yet. So this is possibly Remy, who is stunning. Um, again, the stop, which is the, the nose. We, we particularly breed with my program to get the short stop, not the long poodle nose. Uh, this is just what, this is just the, it's one of the best looking noses. I, I just think uh, the stop on him is fantastic. So this, if his, if his name is Remy, this would be Remy. 
um, just a, a little butterball chunk of as handsome as can be. He's saying I want to get down where the food is. Um, beautiful red coat and um, so that's our Remy. Uh, another thing I just want to point out with these puppies, uh, the, the way an Australian Labradoodle is supposed to look is like a box as tall as it is wide and these puppies are showing that just perfectly. They're, they're not real tall with long legs, they're just kind of stocky and short. So that's the, that's the look we breed for also. Uh, the next one on here is the yellow Toby, oh excuse me, Ollie, Oliver, Oliver, oh here. This is our Oliver, nice sweet little boy with the yellow collar. Beautiful, again, stunning red coat, or, you know, it's hard to say red because I like to say like a golden red, just a beautiful coat, but definitely there's red, this is in the red family. Um, great face, great stop, uh, very, oh, he's got the little tongue going. He just has a full belly and very content. He's, he's following me with his eyes. He, he knows I'm talking about him. He's just adorable. So this is Oliver, and he's given me some kisses. Um, also, I just wanted to point out, which is real important, during the weeks of 6 to 16 weeks, puppies imprint. Um, whatever they learn, any um, experiences they have, good or bad, they imprint. So we do lots of cuddling and snuggling and, and handling them with kid gloves at, all the time, but especially during this imprint stage, because they learn trust and they learn confidence and how to love and be loved, and it's just such a critical time. So. Uh, there's lots of talking and cuddling and, and physical attention with these guys at this point. So that's something to think about because 16 weeks is well after you have them home. So you want to continue with positive things because they imprint. Just like if you were to do something negative happened, uh, something scared them or something, it would uh, they would imprint that. So let's see. Next we have Tommy is the orange colored one. Oh, he's just right here on my lap. This is Tommy, he's our curlier one who looks like Daddy, Daddy Keeper, his coat on him. Um, he's, he's, a, he's like a very light apricot, it's the closest to the blondes that we'd have out of this litter. Um, really sweet, just giving a big yawn there. Everybody wants to climb and, talk, and have me talk to him right now, so they're very much into attention right now. So this is Tommy, great face, adorable, slightly wavy curly coat, he's just stunning. So that's our Tommy. <laughs> He's giving me some gnashing on my finger there. Oh my goodness, who's making all that noise here? Yo. Then we've got um, Zoe, the pink colored one. Let's see, little girl. Right there. Oh, right here. Zoe's being patient, waiting for her turn. Zoe is adorable with the little white splotch on her forehead. Another fantastic stop on her. Um, just so, so sweet. Oh my gosh. She's fantastic. She's adorable. Again, this, this silky straight coat, fleece coat that everybody wants, non-shedding. Oh, and she's just really following too. They're, they're so cute. Oh, you can give kisses. Oh, she's such a baby. Oh, and they have that delicious puppy breath. Just love this stage. They are so cute. So this is our, did I say this was? Or, Zoe. Zoe. This is Zoe. Zoe was just adopted this weekend for a little boy who got a beautiful and exciting birthday gift. And so congratulations to you. That was a, a wonderful gift that your parents gave you. That's Zoe. Okay, and then lastly we have Ginger who is the purple collar. Straight under you. Right underneath here. Nope, right here. Oh, okay. This is Zoe. She's licking my foot. Which Ginger. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Thanks, Shelly. <laughs> Keeping me on track. This is Ginger. And Ginger is our reddest girl. She is stunning. She, again, is a chunk of change. She's just adorable. Very healthy, very stocky, very dark red. Uh, um, a beautiful, beautiful puppy. <laughs> this is how they get. Very, uh, I want to be in your you know, face talking to me. This is so very normal for her. The puppies to be squawking like that. They want me to touch them, pet them, and that's how they get. So, and they're all giving me kisses and loving up. So, I'm just adorable. This litter is fantastic. So, again, this is our ginger. And then again, she's got a great stop too. She's also following with the eyes. Oh my God, they are so cute right now. 
What's the matter, Big Mouth? Who's so sassy down there? Oh, my goodness. I better pick you up. Who is this guy? Remy. Oh, this is Remy. <laughs> Remy is saying, get me up. Pick me up. Who's that baby? Who's that baby? So, I mean, you just want to eat them up at this age. <laughs> they are so adorable. Yes. Are you making all that noise? This is our little Remy here. Oh, big yawn. So that's the litter. Uh, they're Like I say, they're doing fantastic. Um, again, we're going to start uh, training them next uh, after they hit five-week point. And uh, that's a bit of a project. We put a lot of time. Shelly will put a lot of time into it. It's an it's a ongoing thing that we do up until the day they go home. And then we do a demo, and we show you that we've worked with them and that they do sit and lay down. They're all having little tastes of me here, which is so cute. Um, I'm going to stick each one in a little bit of water here just so that in case that's what they're after. They get a little drink. See, there they go. And uh, I think that might be what they're looking for. Um, all these puppies have, have been, uh, will be by the time they go home, wormed three times. Today they're getting microchipped and uh, they will have a vet exam before they go home. They're, they all go home on a spay and neuter certificate. So, um, which means you have your puppy spay or neutered before it turns six months of age. You send me proof of the procedure, the written notes from the vet, along with the receipt. And then I turn around and send you up to 225 reimbursement for what you paid, along with their pedigree. So you don't get your pedigree till the spay and neuter information is sent to me. Um, the puppies will go home with a puppy pack that's full of all the things we've done and lots of other information that's going to be very helpful for you with starting things out when you first get them home. And um, let's see, the crate training also begins in, in two weeks. The families are coming for their crate visits where they drop their crates off and visit with their puppy individually for one hour at Shelly's home. And um, that's a fun time. You bring your cameras and take videos and such. It's a, it's a really fun hour. Um, let's see what else. They go, um, they've been, uh, the dew claws have been removed. Um, i trying to think what else we got. Oh, the, uh, they all go home on the two-year health guarantee. And again, if you feed the Life's Abundance dog food continually, ordering it through my website, I add a third year to your health guarantee. So I hope you enjoyed the video. It's been very energetic and fun. This is when the videos really get entertaining and the puppies get really silly. Sometimes they'll fight and they'll carry on and, and that's all part of the game. That's part of them learning who is the dominant one of the litter. So if you see something that's a little off for you, it's different the next week. Somebody else is the dominant one. So it's all very natural. That's how they learn and, and interact with their litter mates. So have a great week. We'll see you in a week. Um, either myself or Shelly will do the video and uh, we'll get another one out and you can watch them grow each week. Thanks and have a great week.